Good morning, Chuggington! Once again, it's time for our annual celebration of teamwork, the Rip Roaring Relay Race. Our train out. Yes! Honking horns! Train-tastic! What's a Rip Roaring Relay Race? It's this great game where you pair up with a teammate. And you take turns pushing a heavy load. And then, racing as fast as you can. That sounds like so much fun! Coco's team was a winner last year, and the year before that. But the year before that, it was... Oh, <laughs> also Coco's team. I can't help it if I'm the best. Remember, the relay race is all about teamwork. So choose your teammate wisely. I choose Coco! Hmm, who should I pick? The race does call for speed. Speed is my middle name! Okay, I don't have a middle name, but I am fast. The race also calls for strength. They don't call me Brawny Brewster for nothing. Do people really call you that? No, but they should. You'll each have to prove to me why you would make the best partner. You bet I will! Challenge accepted. I want to be your partner, Coco. Uh, I don't know, Zephy. You've never raced before. There's a first time for everything. Please. Okay, if you really want to, you can try out with the others. How's that for wheels to the rails? Impressive. Yeah? Well, watch this. I'm sturdy and steady, strong and ready. Brewster, you two are neck and neck. And neck. Whoa! Not bad. But not good either. Which one of us is going to be your partner? Is it me? Is it me? Zephy, maybe you should wait another year or two before you race. But this is my year. I can feel it. Coco, have you made up your mind? I don't know. After all, I've won this race year after year. After year? Right. And I really need to make sure that my partner is the best. Attention, Coco. Some passengers need to go to Safari Park Station. Gotta go. Track you later. Looks like we've still got some convincing to do. And I know just how to do it. Me too. I think. Grace. Here we are, Safari Park Station. Hey, Coco, you must be dusty after finishing that job. I am? Allow me. <laughs> that is one fine shine. Thanks, Brewster. That's just the kind of team player I am. Coco, while you're here, we have apples to bring to the zebra enclosure. It's almost feeding time. I'll do it for you, Coco. You will? Yeah. You work too hard. You put the hard in hard work and also the work in hard work. Aw, thanks, Wilson. I could get used to this. You know me. I'm a team player. <laughs> Attention, Coco. We have another passenger pickup for you at the ice cream factory. On it, Bee. Hey, you partner. You should relax. I'll handle this job for you. Today was a lot of work, but it'll be worth it when Coco picks me. <laughs> I think you mean me. Don't forget me. I did a lot of work, too. Here comes Coco. Did you decide? Is it me? Tell us. I still haven't decided. It's just such a close call. So I devised a way to decide once and for all. An obstacle course. So we have to do a race in order to do a race? Yes. And whoever wins it gets to be my partner. Great job, everyone. Now, on to stage two. Stage two? I call it. The boulders are pushed. That doesn't sound so bad. It's bad. Push that huge boulder all the way up that hill? She has got to be kidding. I don't think she is. That's it. I give up. You can be Coco's partner, Wilson. I'm good. 
You can do it, Brewster. No, really. I insist. No, I do. Wait. Maybe we should... Be each other's partners? Great idea! Um, Coco, please don't be upset, but Brewster and I are going to be partners with each other. What? Sorry. We're just tired from all this trying out stuff. But... Ready, partner? Ready, partner. But who's going to be my partner now? I did it, Coco! I finished stage two! Can I be your partner now? <sighs> What other choice do I have? Yeah, Zephy, I guess you can. Yes! Team Coco and Zephy! <sighs> bye bye, winner's trophy. Good afternoon, Chuggington! It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the annual Rip Roaring Relay Race! All right. Awesome! <laughs> Emery and Hodge versus Ty and Rosa. <laughs> On your tracks. Get set, go! Ty and Emery are off. They're bumper to bumper around the first curve. <laughs> Ty takes the lead as she reaches the relay point and hands the car off to Rosa. <laughs> They've detached from their cars and are headed straight for the tunnel in an incredibly close race. And the winners are Ty and Rosa. Yeah. Our final matchup is Coco and Zephy versus Wilson and Brewster. Ready, partner? I am. I just hope you are. On your tracks. Get set. Go! <laughs> Slows down, attaching to the hover car and flying by the cheering crowd. Coco makes it to the relay point first. I just hope my lead was big enough. Zephy zooms down the hill. Brewster comes in on the inside track and takes the lead. <laughs> Brewster detaches first, but Zephy is right behind him. And she's closing the gap as they reach the tunnel. She's actually keeping up. Wow, looks like we found a great partner after all. Here they come. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. They're in the final stretch. I can't believe how close it is. And with a record time, the winners of the Rip Roaring Relay Race are Brewster and Wilson! All right! <laughs> Zephy, I'm so proud of you! You are? But we lost. You were amazing! You have the drive and spirit of a winner. And I'm really sorry I put you all through those crazy tryouts. That's not something you should do to your best friends. Oh, It's okay, Coco. Of course, it's never too early to decide who'll be my partner next year. <gasps> Zephy! <sighs> Yay! Team Coco and Zephy! That's Zephy and Coco. Chugga, chugga! Choo-choo! Tie tricks! This one needs to go to the drop and load yard, ASAP. Aye, aye, Skipper. The rest of the containers are lined up and ready to go. Stella, as soon as Hamish comes back, he can start delivering them. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can help deliver them, Ty. Me? Really? But I thought these were all super get-there-in-a-hurry kind of deliveries. They are, but I think you're ready. Let's see how you measure up, trainee. I won't let you down, Skipper Stu. This first car is filled with ice, and it needs to get to Frostini before it melts. So go, go, go! Okie dokie! When you and Hamish come back, just grab the next delivery, and the one after that, and so on. Aye, aye! You remember how to get everywhere? Uh, I'm good. See ya! At least I think I'm good. 
need to ask for help. I'll figure it out. Oh no, is it left or right? I can't remember. Hey Ty, everything okay? You look a bit lost. Me? Nope, just taking a little break. <laughs> okay then, see ya. Eeny, meeny, miny, left. Where is my eyes? I have so much ice cream to make. Oh no. Frostini! Ah, here you are. Frostini was getting worried. Uh, sorry about that. It uh, took a little longer than I thought. But I'm here now, and I've got your... <laughs> ice? Mamma mia! <sighs> sorry, Frostini. I'll bring another load as soon as I can. And this one goes to CPHQ. But which way is it? Uh, Skipper Stew? Hang on a sec, Ty. I'm in the middle of something. Uh, that's okay. It's nothing. Where are those new parts for the turntable? You can't fix it without them. Sorry I'm late. I got lost. I mean, I lost track of time. It happens to the best of us. Sorry, Asher. Better get a move on, Ty. The speed truck really needs this new signal light. Right, I'll take care of it. If I can figure out where it is. Since when are there monkeys at the speed track? Since never. Oh, hi, Matombo. Ty, do you need some help with directions? Me? Uh, no. I'm just uh, taking a scenic route. See ya! Ready? Race! Stop! Race! Stop! Uh, sorry, you two. The new timer light was supposed to be here a long time ago. It's here! It's here! Everything okay? We were expecting this delivery a while ago. Yeah, sorry about that. I stopped at the safari park for a minute. Why would you go that way? Talk about a long cut. Okay, okay, I got lost. I thought I knew my way around Chuggington, but I guess I don't. When I first started as a trainee, I would get lost all the time. Me too. And even though I was fast, I was still late. A lot. Really? You were? <laughs> all the time. What did you do about it? We asked for help. But I can't ask Skipper Stu for help. I want him to trust me to do this on my own. You can always ask for help, no matter what. Well then, I could really use some help figuring out how to get around as fast as you guys do. We'll paint the tracks, so all you have to do is follow the right color to get where you're going. Like, green tracks lead to the safari park, and blue tracks go to the docks. I love this idea! When you gotta get somewhere in a hurry And you're not sure how to get there Well, never worry, a friend can give you lots of great information And show you easy ways to find your destination Just ask, just ask, just ask a friend They'd love to help you find your way around the bend Don't be shy, don't be shy Ask again and again You'll get the answer, just ask, just ask a friend there's always things that we don't know We're all learning every day It's totally cool to say I need some help Your friends will help you find your way Just ask, just ask a friend They'd love to help you find your way around the bend Don't be shy, ask again and again You'll get the answer, just ask, just ask a friend Blue took us right to the docks. I'm so glad I finally asked for help. Thanks. No problem. Our pleasure. Ty, am I glad to see you. I need you to take a load of steel beams over to the quarry right away. 
There's an old bridge that needs more support. On it! Hurry, Ty! I'm counting on you! Let's see. Which tracks lead to the quarry? Yellow! This is a breeze! I'm on my way! Oh, if those steel beams don't get here soon, this beautiful old bridge is gonna come down! Oh! What else could go wrong? Raglan rivets! I didn't really want to know! Not this time. I just have to follow the yellow tracks. Oh no! The rain is washing away the paint! Okay, Ty, don't panic. The quarry is definitely that way. Or is it this way? I don't know which way to go. <sighs> I know what I have to do. Ty, what happened? That load's really urgent. I know. I'm sorry. I just... What is it, Ty? I don't really know my way around Chuggington yet. I should have asked for your help, Skipper Stew, but I wanted to prove to you that I was ready, like you said. You did prove it to me, by swallowing your pride and asking me now. Can you tell me how to get to the quarry? Honking horns! I can do better than that. I'll take you there. Oh, guess this is it, old bridge. We've been through a lot together. Sorry it has to end this way. Huh? Did you hear that, old friend? I'm here, Pete! I made it! And she brought help! Racklin rivets! I told you, old friend, I told you help would come! Okay, Pete, I'll hold the beams while you two unload the steel. You got it! Thanks for saving the old bridge, young chugger. It means a lot. Whoa! The bridge looks... Traintastic! V sent us to see if you needed help, but looks like we don't. My job here is done. Guess I better get back to the docks. We can repaint the tracks if you want. It's okay. If I need directions, I'll just stop and ask. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! I just love this old bridge! Brewster's greatest gift. Got the bigger wagon. You okay, Hodge? You look a little tired. Maybe you're low on fuel. Nah, just need to catch my breath. I'll be fine. So, what's next, Eddie? We need to dig four holes that we can pour cement into. Then we put the water tower legs in the cement. <sighs> I'm on it. Maybe you should take a break, Hodge. You do look a little tired. <clears throat> I'm fine. Talking horns! What was that? I don't know, but I feel kind of funny. Better get him to the repair shed. Hang on, Hodge. We're gonna get you some help. It's not good, Hodge. You overheated your radiator. Oh, well, that doesn't sound so bad. You can just give me a new one, right? That's the thing. We can't. Your radiator is an older model, and they don't make it anymore. Huh. Well, thanks for letting me know. Wait, where are you going? Gotta go help Eddie. Those holes aren't gonna dig themselves. Hold on, Hodge. You can't dig anything. Sure I can. I feel a lot better. That's because you've had a chance to rest. But without a working radiator, any hard work will make you overheat again. But hard work is what I do, and Eddie needs me. I'm really sorry, Hodge, but you need to take it easy from now on. I just heard about Hodge. Is he okay? I think they just said something about a bad elevator. Or a bad alligator? Could Hodge have a bad alligator? How are you feeling, Hodge? <sighs> Not so terrific. Got a busted radiator. Radiator! <laughs> that makes more sense. <sighs> Sorry, Brewster. Looks like I won't be able to help you and Eddie finish installing the water tower. Don't worry about that, Hodge. We just want you to feel better. We should really let Hodge get some rest. 
He's had a tough day. See you all later. Poor Hodge. Maybe we could do something to cheer him up. I know. We can get him a present. Presents make everyone smile. Yeah. Great idea, Brewster. Any change at all? <sighs> Afraid not. That's about as fast as you can go without overheating. But I'm hardly moving. Hodge, we got you a present. To make you feel better. On account of your busted alligator, a radiator. Ta-da! It's a brand new welding car. Thanks. It's really nice. You don't like it? We can get you something else. It's not that. It's just I can't use it. Maybe not now, but when you get better, you can use it all the time. Hodge isn't going to get better. Huh? What do you mean? Not get better? Without a radiator, he could easily overheat, which means he can't do any more hard work ever again. You guys keep the welding car. Thanks for thinking of me. This is awful. And all because of a radiator. They're really important to keep you chugging cool and strong. Do we all have a radiator? Yep. Well, except for Brewster. Huh? Am I going to overheat too? Sorry, Brewster. What I meant was you actually have two radiators. Though you probably only need one. See? One, two. Oh, wow! And it's actually the exact same model as Hodge's radiator. Which means you could donate one of your radiators to Hodge, if you want to. I do. I mean, I would. But you just said we need our radiators to keep chugging cool and strong. It's completely your decision, Brewster. What if I give one of my radiators to Hodge, but then I can't do any more hard work? If you decide to donate to Hodge, you'd still be the same chugger you've always been. Let me show you what I mean. All right. You do some work, and I'll show you how hard your radiators are working with this. I'm guessing you'll never even have to use your second one. Okay, I guess we'll see. Look, it's turning red. It is? It's just showing how much you're using your first radiator, which is barely at all. Let's try something harder. This is a lot heavier than those apples. It's getting red again. Yikes! <laughs> Only about halfway on your first radiator. You didn't even come close to using your second one. Really? That was pretty tough. But I'm still not sure. Let's try something really tough. <laughs> How does it... <laughs> Bumpers! You're using almost all of your first radiator. Honking! Uh, horns! But even with all that hard work, you never even used your second one. Yeah, but I got really close. A little more pushing and I might have... I'm sorry. I... I'm just too scared to give Hodge my second radiator. Can't wait till you're feeling better, Hodge. Doing repairs just isn't the same without you. The thing is, Eddie, I can't help you with repairs anymore. Not ever. Oh, Hodge, I'm so sorry. Me too. Helping you is my favorite thing to do in the whole world. Was my favorite thing. <sighs> I just want to be me again. That's terrible. I can't imagine how sad I'd feel if I couldn't work with the Chugganeers anymore. I have something to tell you. Honking horns! Who left this here? Ugh. That was your final test! And you nailed it! And look at this! Do you mean even after ramming that huge boulder? Probably the heaviest thing you've ever moved. You still didn't use your second radiator! And you know what? It doesn't even matter. I was coming to tell you that I've decided to donate my second radiator to Hodge. Are you sure? It's a big decision. No one will think you're a bad friend if you decide not to. I'm still kind of scared. But if I can help Hodge get better, I've got to try. Wowzer, Brewster. You're so brave. You walk and change so quickly you don't even know when.
Cause no matter what you're going through Even if it's scary and unknown I'll still be me and you'll still be you And we don't have to go through it alone Yes, I'll still be strong and I'll still be tough We'll have each other when times get rough Now would you look at Like I'm me again! And I'm still me! Rooster, you gave me the greatest gift a friend could give. I'm just so glad I could. And we've got a job to finish. Looks like you could use an extra wheel. Or two. Hodge, am I glad to see you. But what about your radiator? Got a brand new one, thanks to my buddy Brewster. And check out my new welding car. Wow, that is really something special but not as special as you two. All right, enough chit chat. We've got work to do. Yeah! Chuggington Noir. Brewster reporting for docs duty. Glad you made it here so quickly, Brewster. Skipper Stu could really use your help. I'm on it, V. Hey, Hodge. Hey, Eddie. What are you doing? We're fixing the carousel. Hey, Cormac, did Skipper Stu ask you to come help, too? I'm just picking up a brand new electric motor for my crane. It's ten times stronger than my old one. Wow! I bet that makes it the most powerful motor in Chuggington. Ahoy there, Brewster. I need you to clear these containers, please. We have a ship coming in tonight. Aye, aye, Skipper Stu. I'm on it. Hello, work trainee. We're all set for when the ship comes in. Uh-oh. I hope that ship doesn't get lost in that fog. As long as our trusty lighthouse is shining brightly, we have nothing to worry about. Ah, OK. Now we have something to worry about. Good thing we have Eddie here. He can fix anything. I can't fix that. What? I can't fix it because nothing is broken. But there's no light. Because there's no power. Something is using up all the electricity, but I have no idea what it is. Well, we have a ship coming in soon. And without the lighthouse as a guide, it could crash on the rocks. So we better solve this mystery fast. A mystery? Yes. It was a mystery, all right. One that could only be solved by Chuggington's top detective. A chugger built for the shadows. And good thing, because shadows and darkness were all we had. Someone, or something, is stealing all the power from the lighthouse. Um, Brewster? Detective Brewster is on the case. I'll find what's stealing power from the lighthouse. And I'll go with you. If something needs fixing, then I can help. Sorry, Hodge. All the top detectives work alone. But if you don't have someone with you, then who will witness all your brilliant detective work? Good point. Come along, Hodge. We've got a mystery to solve. Remember, to be a good detective, you have to keep your eyes open at all times. You can't afford to miss any clue, even a teeny tiny one. Oh, you mean like... Uh -huh. Aha! <coughs> it's a squirrel. Yes, a sneaking squirrel. At night, he's clearly up to no good. I think he's just hiding peanuts. He can't steal electricity. That's what he wants you to think. Why else would he be awake? Maybe because the lights are on in the repair shed when they should be off? That's what I was gonna say before. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew the squirrel would lead us to a clue. Come on! There's no one here. But look, everything is still on. Ah, oh, nuts and bolts. I just remembered. I'm the one that left the place running when I picked up the supplies earlier. Sorry. I'll turn it all off. 
I guess the repair shed does use a lot of energy. No wonder Eddie keeps reminding me to turn off everything when I'm done. V! We found the culprit and fixed the problem. Another case solved by Detective Brewster. Sorry, Detective Brewster, but Eddie says the lighthouse still isn't shining. But everything in the repair shed is off now. That should have worked. Mysteries are always full of twists and turns, like winding train tracks. We had reached a dead end, and once again, we were left with nothing. Um, who are you talking to, Brewster? That's Detective Brewster, and I'm talking to... the Knight. Um, is the Knight talking back? It's quiet. Too quiet. It's not that quiet. Is that the Knight talking? Kind of sounds like a movie. A movie? That's it! Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected. The movie is stealing the power from the lighthouse. Case closed. Book em, Hajo. Hmm. I wonder who left it on. Right. Clearly someone left the movie on and stopped watching. Hmm. And they zoomed right through these leaves. They're still here. Show yourself, power thief. I'm not a thief. Hoot and toot? How did you know it was us? Because I'm a great detective. Did you two leave the movie on? We were going to watch it, but then we kind of got distracted. Something is draining all the power from the lighthouse. We have to turn off anything we're not using. I guess we should have turned off the movie. Sorry. Let's check with B. I'm sure the lighthouse is working now. Brewster says they turned off the movie, which was using a lot of power. He needs to do more than that. The light still isn't back on yet. Oh no, that's the ship. It must be coming in early. Early? And without a light to guide it, it could hit the rocks. But something's still taking all the power from the lighthouse. What do we do now? I don't know. Let's turn off everything in Chuggington. Hurry! Hey, don't turn this off yet. I'm stuck up here. Oops. Sorry, Hodge. <laughs> Oh, come on, Brewster and Hodge. You can do it. Come in. This is Skipper Stew. Do you read me? Stop! Stop! The lighthouse is out! This flashlight isn't bright enough. And the radio isn't working. I can't talk to the ship. V, we turned off everything. Is the lighthouse working now? No, and the ship is getting really close. Eddie and Skipper Stu are trying to get its attention, but nothing is working. Stop, stop, the lighthouse is out. You're getting too close to the rocks. <laughs> A master detective I turned out to be. Don't give up, Brewster. You can still figure this out. But how? We turned off all the lights we could find. We must have missed a clue somewhere. Like that light in the distance? Even teeny tiny clues are important. This one is actually pretty big. It's no use. We might as well... Wait! What light? It looks like it might be coming from the drop and load yard. Aha! Uh -huh. Of course! The drop and load yard! But what could be using a lot of power there? Cormac's new motor! Oh, hurry there! Turn about! It's not safe! Oh, they can't hear us! Or see us! Come on, Brewster! Come on, Hodge! There he is! Cormac! 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 Stop! Turn off the crane! Huh? What's a pain? Turn off the crane! It looks like rain! Turn, Turn off, off the crane! crane. Another mystery solved, another case closed. It's easy to forget that when we leave the lights on, 
we might just be leaving someone else in the dark. But never fear. Even in the dark, Detective Brewster will be there. Are you talking to the night again, Brewster? Oops. Sorry. You know, you're a pretty good detective too, Hodge. This could be the start of a wonderful partnership. Imagine that. Trainees, please report to the depot. Coco, Matambo's animal cars are finished being chug washed. I need you to bring them back to the safari park. Roger that. Ooh, I've never seen animal cars. Wilson and Brewster, there's lots of rock crushing at the quarry today. Oh. Please report there immediately. Rock crushing? How cool! Can I go with them, V? Or with Coco to do that animal car stuff? That'd be great. Yeah, I'd love the help. Not today. Skipper Stu has an important job for you at the docks. Ooh, is it pulling in a ship? Not quite. He needs you to stack containers on a ship. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I really like working at the docks, but stacking is so ordinary. But so important. Guess it all depends on how you look at it. Bye, Ty. See ya. You guys get all the fun jobs. I'm headed to the repair shed for some maintenance. But while I'm gone, I've got a little stocking job for you. Little? This could take me all day. It'd be great if you could have it all ship shaped by the time I get back. I'd like to get this boat out of port by day's end. <sighs> aye, aye, Skipper Stu. One container. Two containers. Three containers. <sighs> I bet Coco's having loads more fun with those animal cars. Hmm. She did say she loved my help, and I could use a break. Help moving the animal cars to the safari park? You're all done at the docks? Uh, I'm kind of taking a break. Until then, I'm all yours! Moving animal cars sounds exciting! Not really. Wait, where are the animals? I think you misunderstood, Ty. I'm only moving the animal cars now that they've been washed. So... There are no animals? Of course there are. This car is full of monkeys. Oh, ah, ah. Oh, oh, oh. I don't see any. Coco, are you feeling okay? I like to pretend that each car is full of animals. It makes the job more fun. Can't you see them? Just use your imagination. Oh, right. Monkeys. <laughs> They're so silly. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> and this one? Baby giraffe! Aww, they're so cute! Let's get these animals to the safari park. <laughs> Giraffe's on the move! No snacks before lunch, please! <laughs> Monkeys coming through! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> What are you two up to? We're just having some fun. Yeah, we were playing with some pretend animals. Ah, I do that sometimes too. I'm especially fond of pretend elephants. <laughs> Help, Ty. That was a blast. Have fun with your container stacking. <sighs> the words stacking and fun don't go together. Hey, Ty. How's the stacking going? Uh, fine. What are you guys doing? Just moving crushed rocks. Oh. 
It's not all that exciting, but we've got a trick we use to pass the time. We pretend we're in a race. A race? Yeah, we get our loads and race to where we're bringing them. Only we imagine we're racers on the Chugasonic speed track. First one to the finish line wins. Do you think I could get in on a race? Sure, why don't you take this one, Ty? Thanks. I should warn you, I'm pretty fast. Challenge accepted. Chuggers, start your engines. Ready, set, go. Wheels to the rails. We're speed track racers. What crowd? Uh, it's only me. We know. We were just pretending. <laughs> well, could you pretend to put those hopper cars over by the ramp? <laughs> <laughs> Ty, are all the containers stacked for Skipper Stew? The ship has to leave the docks pretty soon. Oh, uh, I'm heading back there now. Got it all under control. No problem. Bye. Bye, Ty. See ya. <sighs> Stacking. One container. So boring. Unless I'm building something amazing. Imagine that. When your chores seem boring and you really feel like snoring, you can turn that job into a blast and make the time go by so fast. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is let your dreams start soaring. Imagination can turn a cloud into a sailing ship. Use your imagination and you're on it. Not exactly the stacking pattern I had in mind. I know, but... But it's the most unique job of stacking I've ever seen. <gasps> it is? Aye. I've seen lots of cargo in my day, but I've never seen it stacked quite like that. Well done, trainee. <laughs> Whoa. Honking horns. You were so nice to come help us. We wanted to come help you. Ty's got it all ship shape. And no shipping's ever been shaped like that before, I can tell you. <laughs> I just use my imagination, like you all showed me. Perfecto. Good thinking. Nice. I do have another job for you, Ty. In fact, I could use everyone's help. It's spreading gravel around the lighthouse. That doesn't sound very exciting. Ever notice how the lighthouse kind of looks like a rocket ship? Chuggernauts! Report to the launch pad. Prepare for blast off! Next stop, the moon! <laughs> Chug encounters of the train kind. Sitting at a red light, that's where I'm at. <sighs> Waiting for a green light. <gasps> but what is that? Wake up! Wake up! Huh? What? I'm up! I'm up! Hey, let the... <sighs> Hodge? 
Ash, what are you doing up? You're not going to believe this. I don't believe it. Believe what? I saw the most amazing thing up in the sky. It was bright blue. Or maybe it was white. I can't remember exactly. And then, well, you just need to see for yourselves. Come on. So, what is it exactly that we're supposed to see? <sighs> oh, look, right there, between the clouds. What is it? I don't see it. Where? It was like a big star that stretched out and it had a tail and it was really bright. Bright star, stretched out. I wonder if it's... No, it couldn't be, unless... What? What is it? Space chuggers! Space chuggers? What are space chuggers? Mysterious chuggers from outer space that fly through the night sky. I heard they come down and take over your engine and beam you up to their planet. That's silly. They're probably just watching and learning about us. Maybe they just want to be friends. Sounds like the space chuggers already took over, Coco. <laughs> I think it's space-tastic. Well, whatever they are, I just wish I could meet them. Maybe we can meet them tomorrow. I need some sleep. Me too. Good night, space chuggers. Hope I see you tomorrow. Have you seen Hodge? He asked me to get a bunch of rocks. That's funny. He told us the same thing. <laughs> Follow me. We're going to the countryside. Why are we going to the... No time to explain. So, why are we all the way out here? I've been thinking about it since last night. Why would the space chuggers just be floating around in the sky? Because they don't know where to land. But they will now, because... We're going to build a landing zone. Landing zone? So they can land in Chuggington? Our Chuggington? Brewster's right. Do we really want space chuggers landing here? I think it's a great idea. Wouldn't you like to meet chuggers from another planet? Not me. I would. You know, Brewster, if they can fly in space, they can probably build cool things. They might even be space chuggineers. <gasps> Really? On second thought, let's meet some space chuggers. Rattling rivets. What a mess. Need some help cleaning it up? We're not making a mess. We're building a landing zone for the space chuggers. Oh! Who? Hodge saw space chuggers last night. You know, from outer space. <laughs> I remember when I was a young chugger, we'd sit around and tell stories about trains from outer space. I spent so many nights staring up at the sky just waiting for them. Really? And did they ever come? Oh, no, I don't think so. But who knows what happened after lights out? Well, when the space chuggers come, you'll be the first one we tell. Oh, oh looking forward to it. All done. Great job, us. coming down. Can they even see our landing zone? Maybe we need to call them so they know they're welcome here. Hey, space juggers, come on down. Hello up there. I'm a chuggineer too. We're really nice. Maybe they don't understand words. Hmm, let's try our horns. I bet even space chuggers understand music. Yeah. yeah! Let's do it! Did you hear that? There they are! Space-tastic! No, it's just 
action, Chugger. I've heard your horns and I've come to the rescue. And you made me a landing zone. Actually, that's for the space chuggers. Ah, yes. I battled space chuggers in my blockbuster movie, Star Trains. But I had no idea the real ones were coming. Well, I saw them last night, and I really want to meet them. Hmm, I must have missed them when I was on patrol. When they arrive, tell them Action Chugger says hello! All right, let's get back to honking. I'm sure we'll get the Space Chuggers this time. Um, Hotch, do you think maybe the light in the sky you saw last night was actually Action Chugger? That kind of makes more sense than trains from outer space. No, it was Space Chuggers. I just know it! a moonbeam this whole time? Sure looks that way. <sighs> think I've had enough space chugger chasing. Yeah, I'm heading in. Me too. Wake us up if you find them, Hodge. Well, I'm not giving up. I'll be the very first one that gets to meet the space chuggers. You'll see. Come on, space chuggers. Where are you? Come down so that my friends can see you. I know you're up there. No one's gonna believe anything I say ever again. Yes, we will. And we do. What are you doing here? We changed our minds. We couldn't stand the thought of you out here all alone. Plus, if they really do show up, it wouldn't be very welcoming if you were the only one here to meet them. Thanks. You're great friends. But I'm starting to think you were right. Maybe there really is no such thing as... Whoa! <gasps> Is that... Could it be? Space Chuggers! They're real! I knew it! Whoa! Oh, I see I'm not the only one watching the Chuggasonic Comet pass by tonight. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Uh, Comet? The Chuggasonic Comet. It's a giant piece of rock and ice that flies around the sun and returns once every ten years. <laughs> Did you think it was Space Chuggers? Kind of. Sorry to disappoint you. It is really pretty. Yeah, space-tastic. There are still lots of amazing things up there. Planets, stars, galaxies. But are there Space Chuggers up there, too? Well, who knows? The spooky chugger. Hello, Little Leaf. What a lovely dance you're doing. Hello? Is anybody in there? I was at the Spurline Tunnel, and I heard this strange noise. What did it sound like? Like... <gasps> Honking horns! How did you do that? Oh, sorry about that, young'uns. This wind keeps blowing the tops off the hopper cars and filling my chimney with dust. <laughs> Rattling rivets, there goes another one. All this wind is kind of scary. And I don't like being scared. It's okay, Zippy. Even an old chugger like me gets scared sometimes. <laughs> Why, I couldn't sleep for a week after Cannonball Cooper told me the story of the spooky chugger. What's the spooky chugger? A ghost train that floats around the tracks at night, making eerie noises and overturning cars. Uh... And if the spooky chugger links to your coupler, then you become a spooky chugger, too! Spooky chuggers aren't real, are they, Pete? Nah, it's just an old engine's tail. <laughs> I think. Rattling rivets soon turn the lights out! Hey! 
Uh, come back here! Brewster, do you think it was the spooky chugger that I heard in the tunnel? It was probably just the wind. I sure hope so. I have to take that tunnel on my way back. Uh... <laughs> Hello? Mr. Spooky Chugger? Huh, I guess it is just the wind. She should have been back ages ago. I hope she's okay. <laughs> what took you so long to get back, Zephy? I had to go all the way around the Spurline Tunnel. Why? Uh, the spooky chugger was in there. The what? Old Puffer Pete told us a story about a ghost train that haunts the tracks and makes scary noises. And if it links to your coupler, then you turn into a spooky chugger too. I've heard that one. It's just a made-up story. It's not real. Well, it sure seems real to me. I'm never going near that tunnel again. Oh, come on, Zephy. What if we prove that there's no such thing as the spooky chugger? How are we gonna do that? By going to Spurline Tunnel together and checking it out. It's, uh, pretty late, Coco. Not to mention really dark. Well, if you're just a couple of scary chuggers. What? Count me in. I'm no scaredy chugger. Uh, I think I'll stay here and guard the roundhouse. Uh, wait for me! It is kind of spooky out here tonight. Maybe Zephy did see something? Oh, Wilson, not you too. I know. We don't have to go out on the tracks to prove that there's no such thing as the spooky chugger. Chug Command, show Spurline Tunnel. Phew, nothing unusual. Let's check the surrounding areas. Show me the drop and load yard. <laughs> the spooky chugger was at the drop and load yard. I saw it. There's no such thing as a spooky chugger, Wilson. You said so yourself. You know better than to listen to me. Okay, everybody calm down. Let's go check out the drop and load yard. <laughs> who did this? It must have been the you know who. The spooky chugger's just a story. Now come on, let's get this mess cleaned up. I'll look around. Just to prove there's no spooky chuggers here. Be careful! And watch your coupler! Chugga chugga choo choo! He can't scare Coco! What was that? Hello? Who's there? Cleaning up. Great. Let's go home. Wait. Coco! Who's the scaredy chugger now? Not me. Well, maybe a little. Then I guess it's up to me to show the rest of you that this is all a lot of silly nothing. Follow me. Where are we going? I'm sorry I asked. Isn't that yours, Zephy? I must have left it here earlier. Well, we've seen everything we could see. No spooky chuggers here. Let's go. <gasps> What's that? Rooster, what are you doing? Proving to you, once and for all, that there is no such thing as... The spooky chugger! Catch my breath. But I was right, right? Sorry we didn't believe you, Zephy. Yeah. Really sorry. Um, please tell me that eerie sound is not an eerie sound. It 
was just a hopper car. But where did it come from? Now that is definitely an eerie sound. Wait a minute. I think I've heard that before. What is she doing? Seffy, when you hear scary sounds, you go away from them. It's okay. I think I know what this sound is. The spooky chugger must have her under some kind of spell. We have to save her. I'm tired of being a scaredy chugger. I'm going to find out what's going on. The spooky chugger! There's something familiar about it, though. No! Zephy! I can't look! Don't touch his coupler! <gasps> Old Puffer Pete? Oh, thank goodness you're here. But why are you dressed like the spooky chugger? Uh, the wind blew another tarp onto me, and I've been riding around all night trying to shake it off. So you knocked into those cars? Guess so. I couldn't see them, but I sure did feel them. Yowch! And that scary noise was just you too, wasn't it? You mean this? <laughs> So every time we heard or saw, we were scared of old Puffer Pete's tuck under a sheet. <laughs> Just goes to show you, you shouldn't be believing every spooky story you hear. Most of them are just plain puffy. No. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's the spooky chugger! Yeah, Wait, Pete! It's just Zeffy. <laughs> I think the spooky chugger might be a bit of a scaredy chugger. 